So yesterday, in a fit of tripod rage, I decided to saw off the centre column of my tripod. It seemed a bit daft to have legs that splay out horizontally when there's a centre column that still stops you getting down to ground level. So um, yeah, out came the hacksaw and off it came. We want to say tripod rage, what I mean is I became slightly irked with it. But uh, the effect is much the same and it has lost its centre column. So um, yeah, we've come out to Norfolk today for a change. Uh, we'll see how that goes. So while it's only been a few moments for you, I've been wandering around for about an hour and not found anything. So I've stopped for a cheese sandwich. Right, cheese sandwiches and coffee consumed. And um, I'm just looking for some more stuff, really. It doesn't seem to be very much in the way of actual mushrooms today. I think it's partly the time of year. It's um, well, it's the middle of January and it's pretty cold. So I'm really just looking for anything interesting. Um, yeah, there's lots of lichen, there's lots of kind of gelatinous stuff on logs and things. So um, yeah, I'm gonna keep looking and see what I can find. So I found some things growing on this tree stump. They look almost like little trees growing up out of, out of grass. So um, I'm gonna set the camera up and see how that looks. So here you can see the setup and you can see my newly emasculated tripod. Um, and you can see why it was necessary to remove the center column. Otherwise I would never have been able to set up angles like this. So um, anyway, I'm going to get focused up and then I will show you the back of the camera. So we're set up looking at the back of the camera and the composition has these three parts of the subject in a nice diagonal line with this nice greenery at the front. I've got the LED light set up at the back and to the left just to give a bit of warmth, a bit of, it's kind of supplementing the daylight rather than overpowering it. It's only set on 5%, so it's not very bright. So we're going to focus on this closest point. I'm going to bring the focus towards me just to make sure everything is in focus. We're going to shoot a focus stack, 100 images, step width of one, and I'm going to shoot that now. So we can see from this last image in the stack that the focus point is well past the rear point of the subject. So we should be fully covered for a nice focus stack. And if that shot looks okay, here it is now. While I've been shooting that last shot, my intrepid mushroom spotter has found another great one, just probably about 25 or 30 meters in that direction. So I'm gonna pack up and uh, scoot over there and see what that looks like. So it doesn't look much in this shot, but here is the thing. I'm gonna set the camera up and see how that looks. So this is the setup. It's a little bit Heath Robinson. The camera is laying on the ground on a plastic carry bag, pointing at the mushroom. But let's focus it up and have a look at the back of the camera. So we're set up on the back of the camera. This one's a bit tricky because the camera wobbles around a bit where it's on the ground. But uh, we're focused on this front edge of this mushroom. And we've got backlighting coming from the daylight. I've got the LED light very close to the camera, which is just, if I turn it away, you can see it goes darker. Turn it back towards the subject. You can see it's really just adding a little bit of fill light. 
so I'm going to shoot another focus stack. I'm focused on what I think is the closest part here. I'm going to draw the focus towards me if I can do it without moving the camera too much. And I'm going to shoot a focus stack of 100 images. Right, we can see from the final image in the stack that the focus, I think, covers the entire subject. But I'm just going to shoot another one with a few more images just to be on the safe side. So we're going to shoot again. I'm going to knock that up to 150, why not? We're just going to check the focus again. Draw it towards me, shoot the focus stack, 150 images. So we can see from the final image in this stack of 150 images that we're definitely well past the back of the subject, so we should be good for a nice focus stack. So if that looks good, here is the shot now. So just as I was about to give up and go home, I have found this little kind of, almost a, like a grotto of mushrooms inside the end of a log. So I'm going to set the camera up and uh, see how that looks. So looking at the back of the camera, I've got these mushrooms in a nice diagonal composition here. You can see some lines from the log behind and a little bit of greenery in the foreground. I'm focused on this mushroom down in the bottom left here which is the closest one in the shot you can see from the long shot that i've got two led lights set up one to give a bit of front fill and one to give a little bit of side lighting so i'm going to check the focus there i'm going to shoot a focus stack i'm going to shoot 100 images focus step width of one So we can see from the final image of the stack that the focus point is well past the back of the subject. So we should be good for a nice focus stack. So if that comes out okay, here's the shot now. So that's it, I'm gonna call it a day. I think I've got three reasonable shots. So, um, yeah, that's it. I will see you next time. Cheers.